Well, good morning, everybody. Out on a damp morning. Hope you're all well and uh, getting yourselves ready for Christmas, which is not far away. Um, it's the 26th of November, Sunday, 26th of November today, and uh, this will probably be the last uh, ride I'm going to have this year. Uh, started to uh, the weather's taking a yeah a downward turn now um, yes yeah, so I've could well, well why am I out well yesterday I was uh, I put my CCM in a bag <laughs> I bought a dry bag and put my CCM in the dry bag and uh, sealed it up it's in the garage now I've been overwintered and uh, I just sort of fancy a one last ride out for 2023. So uh, here I am. I looked at the weather forecast, and where I am, it was showing dry and about two degrees. So I thought, I'll do. It. I'll go out in that. Got up, sure enough, looked out the window, it's dry. Uh, so yeah, off I went, fueled up. And I'm down now towards Bromshove, and uh, it's not raining, but there's a lot of. Uh, wet mist really so uh, yeah but I'm just trying to get the last bit of a ride out and I wanted to try and get a few more miles on on Donald the speed twin so that I could get him maybe serviced before Christmas or in any event not long after Christmas so I've got 406 I left the house so I'm 416 now I want to try and I doubt I'll do it today but I want to try and get it up towards 500 so, therefore, uh, here we are. And I thought I'd have a chat about the year, really, while I'm out and about. And what a year it's been. Um, we've just done stacks this year. Um, did the two tours. Did uh, Switzerland with Little Paul in the uh, end of May, beginning of June, which was just awesome. And I'm still producing the videos for that now um, it's brilliant and every time I watch the video or I'm making the videos and reliving it I just go oh, I just wish I was there it's so good so nice um, we will go again I'm sure and then in uh, in the beginning of July I went to Sky with Paul and there's videos I've got to do for that I dare say they're going to come out round about first one will probably be over Christmas time or early New Year so there's that one to come. Um, what else do we do? And I did a little mini tour of, uh, of Wales back over Easter on the Stand the Scrams and that was fantastic. Uh, and that's given me plans for next year. That you probably all know about in terms of having a bike in Wales. Um, yeah, and what has happened on the bikes front? Um, well, I did the, uh, the Tour of Switzerland on the uh, Yamaha Tracer 9. Uh, come back, did what I usually do, put it in the garage. I thought that won't be out again until I do a tour next year. I thought this is bonkers. Um, so I traded it in uh, for, for Donald to try and sweet twin, which I'm in the process of running in. Um, so I said goodbye to the Tracer, and I uh, love the Tracer loved it i do miss it but uh yeah needs must and it was just not getting any use other than a week a week's touring so yeah tracer's gone um and the scram in january me, adding the scram to the collection and i've loved that loved it fantastic boy and uh did the tour of sky on that Sky and the Western Highlands we did on that, Paul on his Hunter. Uh, and then, I oh, bought the CCM in March. Yeah, me a little uh, guilty pleasure, bought the CCM in March. Got a few miles on that, nothing excessive, but I didn't want to anyway. Um, and that's just lovely, that's lovely. Um, so I put that in the bag yesterday, just to overwinter it. Try and keep as much condensation off it as I can so I put it in the dry bag. 
I bought a CCM and then uh, decided to trade the interceptor in for the Hunter 350 which I'm in the process of running in now it's done its, uh, it's had its first service 300 mile service, that's all done Give me about cycles did that so that's all uh, good to go I've just got to get the rest of the uh, running miles up on that I don't know where I'm going by the way so please bear with me I'm just sort of uh, freestyling today so um, yeah I've got the Hunter 350 um, and the Boyos have had some changes as well uh, Paul, little Paul has gone out and got himself a Honda CX500 Cafe Scram uh, which is a load of fun and very loud <laughs> Kev has got himself another bike but I haven't seen it yet I need to try and get to see that uh, I'm not even sure what it is I know it's a Yamaha so hopefully that will be coming out next year and you'll be seeing that and we can do some stuff on that so uh, we've got that uh, what else we got uh, yeah Paul also has traded in his uh, little Paul has traded in his um, yeah, Kawasaki Z900 RS uh, for a Kawasaki Versus 650 and I haven't seen that in the flesh yet, I've seen pictures I haven't seen that, so that's to come next year Joe Joe came back uh, out of motorbike retirement uh, with a Hunter 350 Rebel Red I didn't get on with it, I've taken the mickey out of him something chronic but yeah he didn't get on with it so he's found a bike that he's more suited to his um, his desires and he's got himself his Triumph Triumph 660 it's in the orange like mine um, and he's busy running that in now as well uh, Big Paul he's uh, there's been some changes with him he bought his Hunter um, as well his Rebel Blue um, which got me to was the reason I wanted mine because I tried his in Scotland and loved it. So he's got his uh, his Hunter 350. He's also uh, now got his uh, Suzuki V Strom 1050 because he's trading his uh, his BMW R90 Cafe Racer in for for that, and that's a bit more suited to his. He's a tall fella, as you know, and uh, I think that bike suits him. Uh, suits his, his, his physique better I think that's all the bike front uh, yeah yeah so a uh, few more uh, couple more friends have joined the a uh, little troop of uh, of loons uh, we got uh, Paul and his Honda 404 uh, classic bike which is awesome you'll have seen it a few times if you watch the videos the Paul's joined us um, too many Paul's uh, we we'll have to give them all names different names one of them is going to have to be called Bob anyway so we've got uh, an, another Paul who's joined us uh, and we've had some great fun with him he's uh, he keeps us amused with his uh, with his uh, jokes um, so yeah, he's, it's great to have him along. Just say Joe's back. Um, we've got uh, Gavin as well, who's come out with us a few times. He's a great guy. Uh, he's uh, yeah, again. They all we all get along so bloody well. Uh, it's brilliant. So I don't know whether Gavin's going to be having a new bike. We'll have to see. Uh, similarly with Paul, whether he's going to be having a new one because he was very, very taken by my Hunter when we went to Hanley Swan duck pond a few weeks back uh, we thought he was going to go and uh, do the deed but he didn't but uh, we'll, we'll wait and see because there's a uh, new year to come so uh, yeah we've, uh, we've done a lot of sort of uh, what we've done this year which we've never really done before well, we have a little bit but not very much he's doing evening ride outs and, uh, and they've been great they've been a real really nice way to unwind part way through the week when you've got your, you know, you're at work and you get bogged down with that and you just sit 
get home in the evening, head out and have you know, two and a half, three hours, 100 miles under our belt. That's been really great. Love that. And uh, the plan is to do a lot more of that next year. Uh, Paul does have some great routes on his beeline. We've had some fun doing that. I hope we've kept you amused with some of the stuff we've been doing. Just our silliness, really. Um, so I think that's recapped the year uh, reasonably well. I haven't really seen a lot of Kev uh, or Brian this year. Well, Brian's had his, uh, let's have his op. I'm sure he'll tell us more about that when we get him on into comms next year. And uh, just never been able to make it work really well with Kev this year, so we need to change that next year. Need Kev out more. I know. Um, what else have we been doing? Yeah, so um, channel wise, it's uh, ticking along quite nicely. Uh, some great people have uh, sort of met through the channel. Uh, I think I'm going to get wet. Um, and it's just been a, a whole load of fun. Uh, steadily growing. Um, where shall we go? South Worcester? A38? Why not? Um, so I discovered some um, brilliant channels and, uh, and, and, and interacting with them. It's been brilliant. Uh, just to run through a few. Uh, the All Year Motorcyclist, that was. Uh, a great discovery and it's been brilliant watching uh, that channel grow and expand and keep us really entertained. Uh, Derek at Solo Motor UK, that's been uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a bugger of a year for Derek and uh, let's hope that 2024 is a uh, is a better year for him. Um, Lanes Explorer, wow, what an inspiration Lanes Explorer has been for the. For me and the channel, the suggestions, ideas, and stuff like the videos he makes are absolutely awesome. So, thank you, Peter. Uh, who else we got? Oh, there's so many. Ian Hughes, thanks, Ian, for your encouragement uh, and ideas. That's been, uh, been brilliant. And your videos as well, which are always, uh, always great to see you get to some fantastic places. So thanks, Ian. Uh, Peaky Biker. Thank you, mate, for all your support you've given to the channel and invited me on your live. Uh, that was great. Uh, a first for me, enjoyed it. I thought I was a bit, a bit apprehensive, but ended up enjoying it. Bandit Man UK, brilliant. I really enjoyed uh, your videos, and uh, they're just uh, on a different level. They are they're fabulous, uh, Richard and Carol. Um, if you want to, you want to, you know. Uh, modern day Judith Chalmers <laughs> it's, it's probably the best way to describe it they're brilliant so good the quality and the uh, and the uh, you know the uh, the setup for doing the recordings is, is brilliant um, who else we got I don't want to forget anybody who are oh Aussie Biker Dude well what a joy your videos are to watch with uh, seeing you uh uh, riding around the uh, that place down under uh, some of the places you take us to and the uh, flora and fauna you share with us brilliant and the jokes as well mate fantastic um, yeah absolutely marvellous uh, Grey Wolf uh, thank you to Grey Wolf uh, for all your support your encouragement keep your videos coming mate uh, uh, great to see Blear Review uh, and wow, well, yeah, what can I say? Um, always, uh, always there with a positive word of encouragement. Um, brilliant and, and fantastic videos. Uh, we were in Switzerland. We were both in Switzerland this year, but uh, um, a few weeks apart. Oh, there are so many channels. Who else interacts with me? Ah, oh, not a bike channel. Um, mind about channel, but a, a great channel is. Uh, David Panda, Black Country Tourist, Scottish Black Country Tourist, I hope I've got that right now. Um, tons of encouragement from you and uh, great to see your uh, adventures with Paulina. Um, yeah, wonderful. 
keep them coming. Uh, it's great when you just you don't just get sort of other mode of vlog channels if you like. You get a variety. I enjoyed this blooming rain. Nobody ordered this. This wasn't on the uh, weather forecast last night. Um, who else? Who else have we got? Who I, uh, I watch a lot of their videos. Uh, Lady J Rider. Great videos. Great entertainment. Uh, as I say, another uh, another great channel. Bear with me while I work out what I'm doing. So this is just a, as I say, this is just a meander around, really. And I say, I'm not taking you to anywhere particularly pleasant to look at. And I can't actually see at the moment. I feel like I'm back in the Alcohol and Butte. Uh, yeah, what else? Who else have I been there? Uh, seeing. Um, oh, there's so many. There's just so many that, uh, oh, David J. Uh, Wire Forest biker or rider. They're local to me. It'd be nice to have a beat up probably sometime next year, Dave. Um, yeah, great videos on his, uh, on the CL500. I think he's got big plans for the channel next year. Looking forward to seeing what those are. Uh, chasing on everybody's heels. I think that's, that channel is going to blow up at some point and uh, and really take off big time. Um, judging by how quickly Dave's picking up subscribers. So well done, Dave. I know you haven't been at it too long, but you've uh, you've got a great uh, great selection of followers, uh, just followers, subscribers growing there mate. Um, Rev Bomb, thank you Rev Bomb for all the mentions you give to the channel. Uh, come on to a few of your lives and, and uh, uh, watch through the sidelines and they'll be really enjoyable. Great laugh, the one just gone where uh, the uh, certain other auto vlogger was getting, uh, what shall we say, how can we say, um, disparaged slightly. <laughs> but the only good in that, all the good natured, no malice there. Um, yeah, as I say, there's just so much going on. I'm on a 4.26 more. I'm not going to be out in this for longer, I don't think. So, who else uh, to mention? Um, I think that's pretty much picked up all the uh, all the guys I have a lot of interaction with. I watch so many as it's. Uh, I think I'm like everybody else, it's finding the time to watch the channels is the problem. Uh, but uh, we, we, we sort of tick along. I was joking to Aussie Viker dude uh, in, uh, in the chat and the comments, and I said, uh, I think I've got ten, about 10,000 videos in the Watch Later playlist because I stick them in there to watch later and never get around to it. There's masses of them in there, then I have to go have a sort after every now and again and, and, and bin a load of them off. Um, but that's the, uh, it's just the way to try and do it. Oh, this weather is not what it was supposed to be today. Not enjoying this at all. Anyway, you're not here to even email you. Where are we? What are we making a head for home really? Well, at least I'll put a few more balls on and be able to have a chat with you all. So, uh, what else has been going on? Um, oh, I forgot to mention Rob. Sorry, Rob. Um, yeah, Mr. Fantic. Rob uh, bought his Fantic this year. And uh, he's having some great fun on that. He's, uh, he's all over the place uh, on his adventures uh, around graveyards and all sorts of interesting historic places so uh, yeah and uh, I think he's uh, he's found his uh, his soulmate with his fantic so I'll just hopefully we'll have more to rub out with us next year as well oh yeah into the uh, 
probably see the video. We went to the bike show uh, Tuesday, just gone, and a great day. Uh, Big Paul took us in his van, uh, and Joe and Brian and Kev came along. Uh, we were hoping we were going to persuade Kev to get out on the bike, uh, but it's, I don't think it's to be, unfortunately. But we're not going to give up trying. And we had a great day there. Uh, nice breakfast. And then a great day there. Uh, and uh, had a look at the new uh, Himalayan. Royal Enfield Himalayan. Uh, liking that a lot. Who knows whether one of those is going to join the collection next year. We shall, uh, we shall see. But I did like that a lot. Where the hell am I going? I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Which is not a surprise for me, really, to be fair. So, what I think I'm going to do, folks, is wrap this up. Um, I may do a little Christmas video. Well, I probably won't be on the bike. I think I'm going to do a little Christmas video and a bit of a thank you video. Uh, and a, probably a highlights of the year. Uh, I may do one of them. So if I do, I'll probably see you on there. Um, because yeah, it's been a great year uh, with the the growing a little YouTube community and becoming part of a little YouTube community and it's been I've really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to you know expanding on that next year but what I will do is I'll just say uh, if you have stuck with the uh, this video thank you for watching uh, apologies that it wasn't a bit more uh, pleasant weather situation so you've seen a lot of my finger wiping the, the, the camera lens um, and so thank you uh, all of you that have supported the channel this year all of you that have left comments and uh, uh, provided you know support suggestions brilliant thank you uh, it's been great I've really really loved it um, if I don't speak to you again before have a fantastic Christmas and New Year don't get too drunk and don't eat too many mince pies and uh, I hope you get all the presents you want for Christmas sure a lot of you are going to want uh, bike related stuff as uh, as do I and uh, similarly have a great Christmas have a brilliant new year look forward to interacting again next year watching all your videos reading all your comments hopefully meeting up with uh, a few of you next year could, could, could just couldn't quite make it happen this year with work and all that sort of stuff so next year as well with, with, with my plans for how I'm going to have my bikes arranged next year I think that uh, there'll definitely be more opportunities to do that so yeah brilliant have a great Christmas have a fantastic new year and uh, I'll say tomorrow a bit for now and I'll see you all again really soon cheers <laughs>